Hi, my name is Zachary Will, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tamron 24-70 f2.8. The really great thing about this lens is the price point. In comparison to the Canon, which is up to $2,000, I picked up this lens for $650. Also, this lens has vibration control, which the 24-70 by Canon also doesn't have. The zoom ring is really well damped as well. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing this lens from the perspective of video. Um, this lens is a pretty great photography lens, especially if you're gonna have a full frame. It's a very good range for full frame cameras. Um, and this lens being so wide and um, with image stabilization and a 2.8 is such an awesome combination for photography. I was really amazed by what I could get in really dark situations with this lens for photography. Um, but for video, um, it's a very interesting focal range. I have a C100. Um, 24 is sometimes not wide enough. Um, for 70 millimeters, it's usually wide enough for um, the videos that I do. Um, I can usually walk in if I need something a little closer. So I'm using this lens to replace my Canon 18 to 135. Um, and it's a very interesting comparison between these two lenses. Um, the Canon goes from 18 to 135, um, so you get, I think 18 is just wide enough that you won't ever need anything much wider than that. Um, whereas 24, you might want something a little wider in your bag as well. After a couple tests that I took with photography and for video with my C100, um, they both resolve about the same amount of detail at their widest aperture. Um, this one being at 5.6, this one being at 2.8. Um, so it's really nice that this one gives you the same detail at two stops brighter than this one. But if you have a camera that can do high SOs like the C100, it's not as big of a deal. Um, in some scenarios you can do lower ISOs, which means a little bit less noise with the Tamron. Um, if you have a camera that can't do high ISOs as well, um, you know, definitely the 2470 will help you out there. Um, surprisingly, even through DxO Mark, um, the 18 to 135 actually had pretty similar uh, resolution to the 24 to 70 on APS-C uh, camera. One surprising thing about the uh, the Tamron 2470 is just how heavy this lens is. Um, it's way heavier than even a 24 to 105. Um, maybe even like half a pound heavier than a 24-105 and um, that could get fatiguing if you're holding a camera all day um, whereas something like the 18-135 to will definitely not get as fatiguing. Check out some footage I shot with this lens. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Um, we just released a trailer for Grandma Werewolf, um, my new feature film. Check that out. Um, I have a link in the description. Thanks.